Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or welcome to my channel if you're new. In today's video, I'm just gonna be showing you a quick makeup routine. My quarantine makeup routine basically is my everyday makeup routine when I just feel like throwing something on. This is what I do. All of these products that I'm using today are some of my all-time favorite makeup products. I hope you guys enjoy watching this video. I hope everyone is staying safe and healthy during this time. These times I know are really tough for everybody and we're all in this together. If you guys wanna talk about what you're going through down below, we can talk, we can vent, we can chat. I leave my social media in the description box. Um, below I leave my Instagram and my Twitter. So please feel free to reach out to me on those if you wanna talk about it. I just think it's super important to try and stay as busy as possible and maintain a sense of work even if you're not working right now, which I am not. I hope you guys enjoyed this makeup video. Trust me, I'm gonna film a lot more. Makeup videos are my favorite videos to film. So enjoy and let's get to the makeup. Hi guys, so I just made the intro. We're just gonna get right into it and put on some makeup. Like I said, this is gonna be my quarantine makeup routine. And I'm just gonna be using mainly my favorite products uh, as of right now. So I'm gonna start with foundation. I actually don't use primer anymore because I just felt like primers were honestly a waste of money. I have sensitive skin and acne prone skin, so I just don't wanna put as many products on my face as I used to. Unfortunately, this foundation is no longer available, but it's the CYO Life Proof foundation, and I absolutely love it. I do have a couple more favorite foundations, and I will be making a series. I'm gonna do like a top five favorite makeup series videos so like top five favorite foundations top five favorite blushes so stick around if you're interested in knowing what other foundations that i love and foundations that work for me this is my sponge from elf it looks really stained uh because it is i hope the lighting's okay actually i'm gonna turn it down a little bit Ooh. i got a ring light and this is my first time filming a makeup video with it so if i'm testing out like lighting during this video and stuff too to see what looks best uh, I apologize if that's annoying. If it looks like I'm looking down when I'm applying this is because I am. I have my mirror right here. Oh, <laughs> I have a lighted mirror and I didn't turn the lights on. Ugh. Oh gosh, wait, did it die? Oh, you got, oh my gosh, you guys. <sighs> I knew this was going to happen. I knew something like this was going to happen. I tested out fil this filming setup last night and I left my mirror on. So now it won't light up because it's dead. So, oh man, all right, whatever. I just do a pretty light layer of this foundation. We're in quarantine, we're not going anywhere. Then I'm gonna go in with the Pretty Fresh Concealer from ColourPop. Oh my gosh, that is way too bright. Does that look better? I don't know, you guys tell me, if you watch this video like all the way through, tell me which lighting looks better because I really don't know. This concealer is super light, this is the lightest shade. And I do find that most concealers, to be honest with you, are not bright enough to highlight my face. So I appreciate this one. I feel like I'm trying to do my makeup by looking into the camera and like that's just not working out well at all. I don't know what to do about this lighting. I don't want to turn it all the way down. That's too low, right? That's too low. Is that better? You're gonna have to forgive me if the lighting is, is bad in this video. Next, we're gonna go in with one of my favorite face powders, and this is the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Powder. And where'd my powder brush go? And then I'm going to take this big fluffy brush, just set my forehead just a little bit and set my cheeks. We are going to go in with bronzer because we need it. One of my favorite bronzers, this has been my favorite bronzer for a while, is the Milani Baked Bronzer in the shade Dulce. Oh yeah, we're looking more alive now. For blush, I'm gonna use the ColourPop Pressed Powder Blush in the shade Frisky Business. This is just a nice peachy blush and I love this for an everyday look because it just adds like that pop of color that you want so you don't look dead. You know what, you guys? I watched my old makeup videos back the other day. For some reason, a couple years ago, I did not believe in wearing blush. And I'm looking back on my videos like, what were you thinking? Now I'm going to go in I'm going to do my eyebrows. I'm just going to use an eyebrow pencil on days where I'm doing a more dramatic look or I want my eyebrows to pop out more. I do use a 
eyebrow gel and I do use the one from e.l.f. This one is awesome. For today, I'm gonna be using the ColourPop Brow Boss Pencil in the shade, oh, Soft Black. It's in the shade Soft Black. For whatever reason, my eyebrows always look crazy on camera. They are not identically the same shape. I do my eyebrows myself and they're, they're sisters, they're not twins, so forgive me. I may skip through this part and just come back when my eyebrows are done because this takes me a while. That looks okay hopefully to set my eyebrows i'm just gonna go in with the benefit gimme brow this is just a sample size i got in an ipsy bag and i actually really love this stuff so i'm actually gonna buy more now we're gonna go in to eyes we're gonna do a really simple eye makeup look today because it's quarantine, we're not going anywhere. I'm excited to share this product with you guys because I got it um, from ColourPop around my birthday. I did a huge ColourPop haul. I wanted, oh, I showed it. Um, I wanted to film it so bad, but I was way too excited to try out the products. So I kind of just did a makeup look with them. But this is the Going Coconuts palette from ColourPop. It's so faded because I use it so much. I love this palette. It's literally just a neutral palette of pretty much all browns. And it is the prettiest thing I've ever seen in my life. Look at it, you guys. I'm sure if you watch YouTube videos, you've already seen this palette. This is an old palette by now. I just love this palette so much. So this is what I use pretty much every day. This is the palette I will reach towards. I have a couple more favorites from ColourPop. Those will be in my favorite series videos. But also this collection came with three of these Super Shock eyeshadows as well. I might pop one of these on today just so you guys could see but these are beautiful. ColourPop's eyeshadows are something else. They are phenomenal and they're affordable. This palette was $12. You can't beat that. You're like, this is amazing. So we're gonna start, use this shade and I'm just gonna pop that in my crease. And then I'm going to take this color up here, which is just a little bit cooler and a little bit darker than this color. And we're going to pop that like just below the crease, kind of like onto the lid and kind of blend those two colors together. You guys, I miss filming makeup videos so much. I'm so happy right now to be filming this for you guys. So I hope it looks okay. And whoa, this video is 17 minutes. Do you know how much editing I'm gonna have to do to get this video down to a decent time where people are actually gonna sit here and watch the whole thing? This is crazy, but oh man, okay. And then I think what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take the darkest shade in here. I'm gonna take it on the same brush. We've been using the same brush the whole time. And all I'm gonna do is just pop this a little bit onto the lid. So just to darken the look up, but I'm gonna blend it with all the other colors so it doesn't look too dramatic. Just like that. I could use a shimmer that's in here. My favorite shimmer to use out of this palette is this one right here in the middle. It's gorgeous. But for today, because I think I want a little bit more of a dramatic look, or not dramatic, but a little darker, I'm gonna go in with this shade. This is the Super Shock Shadow in Deep Dive. And it's just a like dark coppery color. And we're just gonna put that all over the lid. Well, now I'm gonna go in with mascara. I'm going to be using the CoverGirl Lash Blast Volume Mascara. This has been one of my favorite mascaras since high school. For last but not least, we're going to just throw on a lip color for lipsticks or whatever. I am totally obsessed with the Maybelline Super Stay in Crayons. This is in the shade Lead the Way. My other favorite is just a little bit more pink, and this is the shade stay exceptional we're gonna use lead the way today so 
So this is my finished makeup look. This is the look that I wear during quarantine when I just want a little bit of extra something. I think it's very important to maintain a sense of like normalcy. So whatever that is for you, if that's applying makeup, working out, I'm keeping myself busy with some home projects. I paint in my room. You guys will see that in a future video. I am painted in my bathroom. You guys will also see that. And then we're going to paint the hallway. So for those, I'm going to film painting the bathroom. And then I'm just going to show you guys what my upstairs basically looks like. My brother also wants to paint his room. So we're going to be doing that. I'm going to help with that as well. So it's like just keeping busy I think is just super important in this time this makeup look is so simple anybody can do it it personally makes me feel better when I put it on and it makes me feel less lazy it makes me want to start my day I hope you guys enjoyed these were some of my all-time favorite makeup products to use stay tuned for a look I'm also going to be doing a full face of ColourPop makeup ColourPop makeup is probably one of my favorite makeup brands if not my Mm, it's my favorite makeup brand right now I'm not even gonna lie so we're gonna do a full face of ColourPop in the future so stay tuned for that thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video bye